Hi guys, it's Veronica from Baby Love, and today instead of writing out a blog post, I decided to do a video post to explain something that I think is really misunderstood. Um, today I want to talk about something called the World Health Organization International Code of Marketing for Breast Milk Substitutes, otherwise known as the WHO Code in shorthand. Um, I want to talk about what the WHO Code covers, um, why it's important, and what we actually see in the United States as fast as I can. I will post the links and some information in the comments below so that you can read more about it and, and see what I'm talking about. Um, the WHO code was ratified in 1981. Um, the United States unfortunately did not sign on to it, which is why you will see that in the United States this is not followed by the vast majority of companies. Um, so again, it specifically applies to breast milk substitutes. And um, that's my little guy singing in the background. Um, so we'll get to hear him. So the first thing that the WHO code covers is that it says there should be no advertising of breast milk substitutes to the public. So that includes formula, that includes bottles, and that even includes breast pumps. Um, so there should not be under the WHO code any advertising of that. Um, the second thing is that there should be no free samples to mothers. Uh, the third one is that there should be no promotion of products in healthcare facilities, so that includes both clinics and hospitals. Um, there should be no um, company quote unquote nurses to advise mothers, either in person or over the telephone. Um, there should also be no gifts to healthcare workers from these companies. Um, there should be no words in any of the packaging that idealizes those substitutes to mothers, making it seem like a better choice. Um, and any information on um, any information about the formula bottles or breast pumps should be scientific and factual, and it should it also explain the costs associated with not um, breastfeeding and using those products instead, um, as well as, as any potential risks that there might be. Um, the next one um, is, is um, in the WHO code, and there are specific laws that also cover this in the United States, but there should not be any marketing of unsafe products like condensed milk or um, you know thickeners or additives to mothers. Um, even though we don't have the WHO code, the FDA does have the ability to regulate unsafe products. And then um, the last one in the WHO code is that all products should be safe um, and of high quality and of um, uh, appropriate nutritional content. And again, there's a Formula Safety Act from the FDA that covers that, um, both from 1980 and 1986, I believe. So, um, okay, so we take all of those things together and what does that mean? So um, the, the, these different companies are multi-billion dollar corporations. Um, some of them are large pharmaceutical companies, other are large um, agricultural gigantic um, companies that control everything from water to um, frozen food. Um, and a wide plethora of products designed to really keep families from um, supplying their own food or using real food from birth until death. Um, the, the biggest, maybe most notorious one is Nestle, who actually did spur um, the WHO code um, back in 1981 because of certain things that happened in Africa in the 1970s. Um, unfortunately, we know that these things are still going on today. Um, Families in developed countries are the most vulnerable, especially when they don't have access to um, sanitary places to wash, um, things like bottles or breast pumps, but they don't even always have access to clean water. Um, older children might be more able to tolerate um, unstable water um, access, but babies are especially at risk um, if moms don't have access to clean water. Um, or in case of, of extreme poverty, they don't always have um, the ability to pay for formula. Um, <clears throat> the reality is with all of these, brand loyalty is king. It's, it's true for anything, whether or not it's soda 
or um, pizza or anything. And this is just a marketing issue. So these companies know that, number one, if they get into your life very early, you'll usually stick with them. Um, we see that even with disposable diapers. And depending on what kind you get in the hospital, would be more likely the kind that you would end up using for your baby's whole diaper using life. So, you know, those early footholds are, are really, um, really big. Um, and then, you know, another thing that is huge um, because of the breast is best message, um, which I have other issues with too, but um, families usually know that breastfeeding is the preferred method and um, for feeding babies. Um, it's the cheapest. Um, it is got the fewest health risks. Um, so families know that, and when moms don't get the support that they need to breastfeed or they have a care provider who tells them that they shouldn't or family members, um, they want to do the best for their babies. I absolutely understand that. So companies prey on this, this insecurity by making their products seem closer to breast milk. Um, so if you see bottles, if you see formula, um, or anything else that says that it's closer to breastfeeding, please know that that is an outright, why is a strong word, but it's an unsubstantiated claim and it's only used for marketing purposes. So don't think that, that those bottles are the best. Don't think that that's the best formula. Just realize it's a marketing ploy to usually get to get you to spend more money. Um, and there, there are better options, and those things should usually be discussed with the baby's care provider, or health care provider, I should say. Um, and the last thing is, please realize that there are companies who are making a lot of, um, underwriting a lot of things like education, um, fake support, uh, so it looks like you're getting breastfeeding help, but in, in reality, um, the accuracy and the 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 truthfulness of the information is compromised by um, who's writing the check to pay for that. Um, parents do deserve to have the best information. Parents do deserve to have the best support possible. And it really isn't in um, a bottle companies or a formula or a breast pumps company's best interest to actually have moms breastfeed. Um, it's a sheep in wolf's clothing and you know, we do have to think about what's best for families. So that's kind of what it is and, and what it means. Um, as a CLC and a Lamont's Childbirth Educator, I think it's important that families are aware of marketing um, and have the right information to make the right decisions for their family. So I hope that's helpful. Again, there will be links below. Thanks for sticking with this. Um, and let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. So that's it. Thanks. Bye.